Here, I am introducing the heating and cooling conditions, important parameters in heat treatment. By adjusting the heating and cooling conditions, the crystalline structure of materials are modified. Four important parameters for heating and cooling in heat treatment are heating temperature, heating rate, holding time, and cooling rate. The temperature of heating is the temperature that the material is heated up to. The rate of heating is how long it should be spent for the material to reach that temperature. Holding time is how long the temperature is kept at the heating temperature. The cooling rate it's the time it should be spent for the material to come back to its original temperature. You may understand that there are three types of cooling speed, rapid cooling, slightly slow rapid cooling, and slow cooling. Rapid cooling is done by soaking the material into water or oil. This is called water cooling or oil cooling. To perform slightly slow rapid cooling, you may leave the material in the air and wait until it returns back to the original room temperature. This is called air cooling. For the slow cooling, you may place the material in a furnace with the heat source turned off and let it cool. This is called furnace cooling. The important parameter in heat treatment is the cooling rate. The cooling rate determines the microstructure of the metal at room temperature. Heating is generally done slowly, while in high frequency quenching on local surface of a material, the heating should be rapid. You should here be note that the cooling rate defines the type of heat treatment. Quenching is done by rapid cooling. Tempering is done by rapid cooling or air cooling. Normalizing is done by air cooling. Annealing is done by furnace cooling. 